Hello, everyone. Welcome to my video on how to do a single factor productivity problem from my BYU IDO class SCM 361 Organizational Management 2022. I'm going to try to walk you through this problem step by step, and hopefully, you'll be able to see how I got the answers. First thing I did was read the instructions, of course. PC's 62 Trek is a manufacturing company that produces high end bicycles. Their prime road bike, the Mic One, can be fully customized through a program called Project One. Last year, they rolled out 1,410 bikes, which sold on average for $7,700 and used the following inputs as found on the table below. The first thing I did, the question gives you all these all this data. I put this together starting with output, last year, prices, et cetera, et cetera. So if you do the same, just go from the chart, create your own chart. First thing we did was the output that they rolled out was 1410 bikes. The year 1410 bikes and the age of the sales price averages 7770. Now, the first thing we're going to do in this is find out what the total sales amount is. And once we put all this information, it's as simple as you're going to take the sum of. C7, which is the year that they how much how much they've how many bikes they put out, and you're going to multiply that by the price of each bike, and you get a sales price amount of ten million eight hundred thousand. The first question they ask you is. What was the last year's single productivity for the terms in terms of the rubber, not dollar? Display your answer for four decimal places. If you look up here, this is the rubbers per pound. And the way they get this from over here, the costs of input, you're going to be taking C7, which again is the, is the amount of bikes they made, and then divide that by the rubber price. And this will give you 0 0.5371. And if you have a issue with this number, make sure this number ribbon is set to number and adjust it by way of these little icons. As you click that, these will move over to the correct amount. Next thing we're going to do is so. This is the answer to number one, the rubber by pounds. Second question is, what was the last year's single factory productivity for the trek in terms of OCLV carbon input output unit in not dollars? So here again, I click on the cell. And the way you figure out this problem is you take the amount of bicycles that they sold last year, which was 1014, and you divide that by C10, which is the carbon amount of carbon foot, a square foot. And you get the same thing where you get the next answer, which is 1.128. 
And again, if you don't get that same answer, open up your ribbon, make sure this is in general, and you can adjust as needed to match the answers that they give to you. So the output is 1.128. Now things get a little tricky. They're asking you, what is the last multi-factor product productivity for the credit in terms of dollars, in terms of dollars? The next thing we want to do is figure out terms in dollars for last year multi-factor productivity. How we do this is we're going to start with our formula of C9 times cost per hour, close bracket, you're going to get 37, 237,800. You take this, copy this down. And what it does is it takes this formula and copies it all the way down for you. And the last thing we have to do is equal sum the total. Now to do this particular process, this is the answer. The only problem with that is there's two different ways to do it. One, if you look up here, this big long formula, well, the, what, we, what we did up here was added them all together and divided them, and they came, it, comes up, it comes up to the same. So something to be aware of. You just want to multiply these out, add them up, and this number will come up at 7.23. And that's the answer for number three. And remember, to get this 7.23, you only want to work with the cells of E9 to E13. You just want the input amounts. And if you do this correctly, you're going to come up with 7.23. And next, we're going to do the new sales number. And we do that by starting with the equal sign or brackets. We're going to be talking C7, which is the amount of bikes we had times 
because it increased by 5%, which is 0 0.1.05. we can't do it to 100, it's gotta be 105 because it's a 5% increase. Then we're gonna times all that by T7 price. This is our new sales number. Or, you can take the original sales price and multiply it by 105. This is what we did. Commence with this comes out with the same answer. Next thing we're going to do is learn the new sales numbers. And what how we're going to do this is we are going to take C7 which is the amount of motorcycles last year. We're gonna type that by 1.05. We can times that by D7. That's gonna come with 11,400,000 for us. Next, we're going to figure out last year's multi-factor productivity in terms of dollars. So what we're gonna do on that one is, we're going to take F7, which is 10,800,000, and we're going to divide that by, Total input. It comes out to 723. And that's what we're looking for. And to finish up question number three, what we're going to do is asking last year's multi-factor productivity in terms of dollars. So what we did on this one was, we took CF, which is the gross of last, was revenue from last year, and we're gonna divide that now by the total cost, which is 150. And when we do that, we're gonna come up with 7.23, and that's what is going to be the difference between last year. And the last one, number four, it is asking what is the factor of productivity to increase by 5% over last year? So what we do with this one is we take F20, which is the new sales price or the new revenue that we generated. And we're simply going to divide it by total in, the total cost, which was 1527. 15, and when we do that, the total is going to come out to be five dollar or excuse me, seven dollars and fifty nine cents. So, that has been the process to find out the productivity of different scenarios with bicycles. I hope this has been fairly educational and simple to follow through. If you like it, please like my button down below and make some comments and we will Wait till the next one. So thanks for watching. 
Again, my name is Randy Bridges. I'm a student at BYU Idaho. And this is a tutorial for CSM 361 Organizational Management 2002. With that said, you have yourself a good afternoon or evening. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.